Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to the D Time Love Show. And today I've got a really interesting video. I'm really excited. I'm going on vacation for a good three to four weeks. I'm going to be away, but I will be shooting content. I'm going to be a real beach bum. I'm going on a real beach holiday. I've got an all inclusive on the beach. I'm going to be putting on a lot of weight. I'm going to be sitting on the beach and on the pool, but I'm going to be snorkeling. As you can see there below, I've got my snorkeling set. And I thought it'd be quite fitting to do this video in front of my tropical fish tank. They get me in that summer vibe. They get me into that snorkeling vibe. I am a real marine enthusiast. As you can tell, I absolutely love my tropical and marine fish. Very cool indeed. But before I go into depth, in relation to the watches that are going with me on holiday and my reasoning why let's do a quick wristwatch check and today i'm sporting the tudor chrono blue monte carlo one of my favorite summer watches but it won't be coming with me on vacation now my thought process is guys when i'm going on a beach holiday you know when i'm going to be lazing around on the beach on the sand snorkeling all day um, I don't tend to take my, my premium watches, my expensive watches with me, uh, or even watches that are hard to replace, for example, like limited edition, even, you know, old vintage watches, they will be staying behind in the safety deposit box in the bank. But um, um, let's have a look what we have below and what will be coming with me uh, on this vacation. Now, I will be going roads, I will be snorkeling a lot, but I'm going to be chilling going out, socialising, and what I thought, instead of taking my Truda Chrono Blue, the Monte Carlo, as a sports chrono, and every grab-and-go beta, I'm going to take the Belova Chronograph C on this mesh. Very cool indeed. So when I'm lazing around in the evening, I'm in, you know, the buffet or fine dining in the hotel, wherever it may be, I'm probably going to wear this chrono is going to be wearing sports smart leisure clothing like levi's short jeans or maybe a, a tropical theme shirt i don't know but i may do a vlog so you can see what i'm wearing but um, that's what i might be wearing during the evening and um during the day i'm gonna take a few divers with me i'm gonna be snorkeling and um i thought as it goes with my snorkel I'm going to take this Orient Mako, uh, you know, the original Mako uh, with this orange rubber strap. Um, and I've, I've snorkeled, I've, I've, I tend to swim with this watch as well. Has fared very well over the years. 200 meters, water resistant. It's got a dark navy blue dial. Sorry about the smudges and the lighting, guys. But um, this watch hasn't got much wrist time. And I thought, you know what? If I break it when I'm on holiday, it will give me ex- an excuse to buy the new Orient Ray 2. Hence why I'm going to take it and it might get a little bit damaged while I'm away. So I have excuse to buy another watch. Um, another one that I'm going to test when I'm over there is the Pantor Sea Lion, guys. 300 meters water resistant. A cool, cool watch indeed going to try it out i've actually did take it on the pool the other day it's a little bit dirty but um i'll probably wear these at in the pool um the orient ray and the pantor sea lion but when i'm snorkeling in the sea there's only one watch that i'm going to be wearing something tough something very strong something that ain't going to be bo- bother me if i destroy it while i'm on holiday the g-shock dw 5600 classic square g-shock in white in fitting with the summer holiday vibe i have to say yeah this is what i'm going to be wearing most of the time while i'm sitting in on the beach and believe me guys i probably will be doing about two to three hours snorkeling while i'm there and i will be fishing as well i've got a lovely hotel on the beach i'll do a little vlog for you guys as well but i'm going to try and take a real vacation i really do take little time off and this time i'm going to try and not do any work whatsoever but i may do a little vlog for the channel so you can see what i'm getting up to but let's have a look at the gear that i'm taking with me Uh, this is my snorkeling set it's a high stress tempered glass um cool 
yeah, it should do the job. Look, I'm not going into any extreme diving. I'm just going to do a little bit of snorkeling, check out the area. Uh, very cool indeed. What else do we have? Let's just check this out. Uh, yeah, look, I always do take some knives with me. This is an Anglo Arms Amazon knife set. Very cool indeed and camouflage. I'm not really a big knife guy, but I just thought these are really cool in camo. And uh, I may take it. I've got an all-purpose, like a Swiss alternative Anglo Arms knives there. Very cool indeed. And I guess if I do catch anything, I could gut the fish right then and there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or when we do tend to go a bit of fruit picking, I'm going to quite a few different Greek islands. So I'm going to spend a couple of weeks in Rhodes, a week in Skathos, and a week in Cyprus. So I'm going to be away a long time. So, um, yeah, I'll take this with me. I think it's a very cool uh, knife set, I have to say. Very cool indeed. Uh, what else do we have? Um, yeah, my carry cases. Carry cases are very important indeed. Uh, I'm going to take the Tizo as I normally do. Serves me well. And I'm taking the Pantor to watch carry case as well. Um, so I'm going to probably take three watches with me, to be fair. So, um, yeah, I'll take the Belova Chronograph C, the G-Shock DW5600, the Orient Mako, and the Pantor C line. But one thing somebody asked me, um, what belt what, what, what belt would I be wearing on vacation? And I'm going to be wearing a Dune London belt. Um, oops, wait. You see that properly? And uh, the reason why I'm taking this belt, it's got a real summer vibe about it, but it's <laughs> a bit like, it's very elastic. It's very stretchable. And um, for good reason that uh, I predict... I predict that I will be putting on a lot of weight and um, I will be taking full advantage of my all-inclusive buffets and fine dining in the hotel. So I do expect to be pretty overweight when I get back, guys. But um, look, I will be trying to get as much um, video footage on the channel. I will do a vlog when I'm out there, guys. But let's do a little recap of the watches that will potentially be going. The only one that may not go is actually the Pantor uh, C-Line, but um, the G-Shock is definitely in, guys. Let's just get that into focus for you. The G-Shock's definitely in. Probably will go with these four, guys. And You know, for me, these watches are easily replaced. Maybe not so much the Belova Chronograph C, um, that's part of the Archive series, but the G-Shock will be getting the most wrist time, and I'll probably wear the Orient Mako on, in the pool, and wear maybe the Pantor and the Belova Chronograph C when I'm out about socialising, drinking, I will be the family, but we're going to be in the arcades, we're going to be doing so much activity, sports, leisure, um, I'm expecting to cause quite a bit of damage to potentially these timepieces, so I'll probably be quite careful with the Belova Chronograph C as it's probably the most delicate watch out of this bunch. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Something a little bit different. Let's get the, let's have a look what the, the angelfish think. Are they impressed? Let's have a look. Don't know if they're, they're impressed, guys. But anyway, I hope you like the content. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more videos coming through. Take care, guys. Enjoy your holidays. Keep safe. And I'll see you in the next video.